Hi, I'm Chris Philpott, and this is Intimate Mysteries. They say the closer that the magic gets to the spectator, the more powerful the effect. The effects in this book get about as close as you can get because this is magic done with the spectator's own life. I'd like to um, play a little psychological game, if you're into okay. it. You wake up, but you're not in your bed. Okay. You are in a chair. Ooh. Your head is throbbing, and you realize you are tied to the chair. Oh dear. Is it a blunt tool that you can use to work your way out? Or is it a sharp tool that you can just cut yourself with? It's a blunt tool. The second one is a hallway. Those hallways are not places where you stay. They're places you pass through to get someplace else, but there's a door blocking it. And there's a sign on that door. Something else going on. You just picked a card. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, remember red versus black? You were choosing the color. I had a feeling. <laughs> I really did have a feeling before we started. Why don't you, why don't you... Oh my gosh! And you said... Sing a song. I wrote sing a song. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> I'm gonna have you try to read Matt's mind. I'm going to have you think of a thing. Anything? Anything. Let's break it down. I want you to hold up your hands in front of you. Out in front of you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to imagine that you have a stack of photographs a thousand feet high. One is going to get heavy. Feel it get heavy. So intuitively, you seem to be saying this is a, uh, a man-made thing. Get, I want you to imagine stuff in the kitchen, stuff not in the kitchen. Get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it. We're left with a piano. What were you thinking of? The piano. You're lying. Hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not joking. What? It was a spiritual, magical trip. <laughs>